All right, I'm going to have a go at the Guardian's Crypto Crossword for Wednesday, April 3rd. It is set by Brendan. Let's see what we have. Cases resulting from extra time in game. I'm thinking the definition is cases, and we have to think of a five-letter word for game that perhaps has a T in it for time, and we add an extra T. It must be a plural game, like um, spoons or something like that, but one with a T. And what kind of cases? Are they going to be legal? Wine cases? Yeah, I'm not seeing it. All right, how about rest is arranged for important person in hospital? I think that's a pretty... <laughs> obvious anagram of rest is and a sister is an important person in a hospital all right how about confuse it with deceit about eating behavior i think another anagram where we put it together with deceit i can see we have diet um, dietetic, is that a word? As opposed to uh, dianetics, of course. Well, we'll see if the crossing letters agree with that. Highlight, possible cause or effect of illness. Ooh. Yeah, not is that just a double definition? Yeah, I'm not seeing it. How about mistreated, tear in part of I? Ah, so yet another, I think, pretty obvious anagram. We're going to mistreat the letters of tear in. And the obvious part of the eye is a retina. Hope everyone's retina in the US survives the uh, solar eclipse on Monday. I'm looking forward to that. I'm in the path of totality. All right, how about licenses, including one for those not well treated? I think it's going to be those not well treated, oh, could be, I was thinking of outcasts, but um, I don't think that's right, because I think the wordplay is going to be a word for licenses, and we're going to put an I for one inside it. Those not well treated. No, I'm not seeing it, unfortunately. All right, let's um, go back to the Acrosses. Medical assistant for consultant on many cases. Oh, another cases. Is that going to be a theme today? Um, what, what do you call a medical assistant other than a nurse? Uh, Oh, but then for consultant on many cases, no, but maybe that's on many detective cases, a consultant. No, not seeing it. No, that was our licenses. Issue returning for renowned healer. Well, issue can be a child, son or daughter, returning, so that word will go backwards, for a renowned healer. Is it something like a, uh, a guru or a... I'm not sure who the renowned healer is. Hygienic practice 
featured in campaign, is it in a sense backward looking? Hmm. Well, hygienic practice. Well, I do see that the backward looking and it's going to be inside of something. Could it be a hidden clue that is backwards? I do see if we look at the GN of campaign, it's followed by an I. So we could be, ah, uh, yes, it ends in ing and it's sanitizing i think that was very well hidden campaign is it in a sense yeah i liked that all right um so now this highlight oh uh, stress could be to highlight something yeah i just thought it's I didn't think it was going to be a plural ver word, so most likely ending in double S. Highlight possible cause or effect of illness. Um, so definitely not outcasts, but I didn't think it was anyway. Ah, well, a license could be a patent. And if you put in an I, you get patience. So it's not that they're not well treated. It's not they're badly treated. They are not well and they are treated. Oh, that's very uh, tricky. Uh, so I looked at eight down, thought the first word could be spin and then thought of spin doctors. So let's see, physicians supporting revolutionary movement as propagandists and sure enough there are the physicians are the doctors a revolutionary movement is a spin and uh well you know the rest all right uh, let's go back to the acrosses led by good type with characteristic spirit manage Diagnostic device. I'm wondering if it could be a diagnostic device. Something like a thermometer. Oh, there's definitely a medical theme today, isn't there? Yeah. I think nearly everything so far has had some linkage to medicine. I'm just wondering if led by good means this starts with a G. What's a type with characteristic spirit? See, that has to be part of the wordplay because it's in the middle, but type with characteristic spirit, no. And then I think maybe a word for manage at the end. Does it include the C or not? Hmm. Now I'm going to need more for that one. Improved in health without your old fashioned healer. Um, so without we always have to be ready to read it as one word going outside of another one. Instead of being within the other, it's without. So maybe improved in health, something like maybe just better. If you're better, you are improved in health. And that goes outside your in an old fashioned way. And I think it's going to mean a healer. Well, something like this be, uh, be not we witcher be something. What is your in old fashioned speak? 
Well, ye is you. Yon, your. O oh, thou, thine, thine, I suppose. But I'm not saying it a healer. No, don't say it. Evil doctor, repeated, unacceptable act. Ah, well, we had Dr. No in a crossword the other day, so I think this is a no-no, which is an unacceptable act. Teacher's disorder, cured at hydro, finally. Ooh. Hydro finally suggests an O. But this ends in R. Could it be a teacher's disorder? <laughs> Is there something like tennis elbow, teacher's elbow from, I remember the teachers used to throw the um, eraser for the uh, chalkboard, the blackboard, they used to throw that at us, our bits of chalk if we were lucky. Um, Disorder, of course, could be an anagram indicator. Uh, eight letters. Now, teachers has eight. Could it be cured at hydro or finally? Ooh, or, oh, it might be cured at which is seven letters plus the O from hydro. And it means a teacher. Yeah, I'm liking that a little more. A lecturer fits, but we don't have an L. Educator, of course, yes. There we go. Took me a moment, I'm sure you all saw that first. Well done. Um, like first, position, reversed, bit by bit, of late. Ah, that's very cryptic. Uh, maybe let's try some of these other uh, downs where casualties may be treated in areas of warfare. Oh, uh, theaters, I suppose, because an operating theater and a theater of war, perhaps. I'm not 100% sure about that one. Let's see if we, the crossers agree with it. Criticize confused medic in major health crisis. Ah, well, I think this is something we all went through a few years ago. To criticize something can be to pan it. And if we confuse our anagram medic, we get demic and a pandemic. Kind of medication from doctor initially in control. I think it's going to be a kind of medication and we're going to put doctor initially, I think it's that D, in a five-letter word for control. Oh, a kind of medication, is it a specific one like aspirin or um, Opium, or, well, not opium, but, um, uh, or is it a form as in a tablet or a lozenge, a, yeah, a medicine bottle or something? No, I'm not seeing it. 
uh, where blood flows to one's ears ineffectually, uh, well, f blood flows in vain, um, I think, though, we have to put the other, the ineffectual, I think is the definition, but to one's ears, it sounds like where blood flows. I don't think they would give in vain with an E as the answer, because that's not really a phrase. But um, I may be wrong. We will see. All right. A tax cut in surgical fashion. Ooh. Do we do surgery on tax cut to get a word for fashion? Doesn't seem likely. Where would the X go? And two T's? I don't think so. Oh, could it be hidden within? No, G-I-C-A-L-F. No, I'm not seeing that tax cut. All right, let's finish the downs. Uh, feel poorly. I always love that. So oh, English. Oh, I'm, I'm a little poorly. Uh, when caught by right, cross, something doctor may check. Ah, well, R at the beginning is obviously the right. A cross can be an X. And feel poorly is an anagram of feel. So doctor may check your reflex. I don't think I have had a doctor do the old tap on the knee uh, test in a long, long time. I think that may have gone out of fashion. All right. Here was our like first position. Ooh, um, I'm thinking of when I still saw position uh, and looked at those letters, fetal position it is your first position, I suppose. Oops, I mistyped. There we go. Um, so we reverse of, oh, and we also reverse late, but we do them bit by bit. We don't reverse all six letters, and that's how we get feel. Nice. All right, continued without changing. What someone in theater did that's not working. I think th the definition is going to be continued without changing, as in went on in the same way. Although I'm not sure what a short word for that would be. And it might be what someone in theater did. Oh, yeah, I think when actors are not working, they don't have a job, they say they're resting. It's a great euphemism. And so is it that um, continued without changing? I suppose if something just rests, it's not changing. I can sort of see that. Not a threat to health, good in part of Africa. All right, well, I sort of worked out this was going to be an IGN ending. Could, could have been ION, could have been lesion. But uh, the part of Africa is Benin. And if we put the G for good inside of that, we get something that is benign. All right. Um, Let's try this kind of medication again. From doctor initially in control. 
Yeah, let me uh, pause and think about that. I may have to resort to looking up uh, synonyms of control. No, nothing is coming to me. I'm thinking this must be a consonant between the E and the R, because without the D, then it would be something E, something... I'm assuming this is going to be ER. could be OR, of course. What kind of medication, then? Maybe it's based on what it does, as in something that numbs you or something that... Uh, uh, I don't know, <laughs> something that cures you. That's what we hope, anyway. Oh, of course, that E may not be, may not be right, so... Yeah, let me uh, think about that. No, still not seeing anything. Now, tax... Oh, um... Just tax on its own could be excise. And how would that be? Oh, maybe, maybe it's a double definition. To cut in surgical fashion, yes, an excision. There's an incision, of course, but I think there can be an excision to cut something out. Ah, all right. Um, how is this now improved in health without your old fashioned? Oh, well, yeah, so I, yeah, no, might still begin with a B benefactor. <laughs> Something like that. No, oh, surely this one now, some juicy letters. Ah, so something scope. So maybe from the wordplay. Ah, to manage is to cope. All right. And led by good, I'm still thinking is the G, but maybe it's not. Um, oh, it could be stethoscope with characteristic spirit oh a good type could be a saint ah oh and then a characteristic um spirit of course is the ethos ah yes so that's the danger is you know you're so used to seeing good being G, as it was um, down below. Um, where was that one? Good in part of Africa, but uh, a good type is a saint and then an ethos. All right. So the bottom half is done apart from our healer and our medication. Um, let's go back to the top left. Oh boy. Cases resulting from. Now let's try one where we have at least some letters. Uh, let's try one down. Oh, I don't think I looked at this one. Uh, coverage for hospital patient, female, European, in disastrous debt. Oh, I wonder if it... Um, the definition is coverage for a hospital patient. Of course, they talk about debt to make us think it's insurance coverage, but I think it's going to be something like a, is it simply a bed sheet? Or is there some name for that uh, embarrassing gown they make us wear? I don't think there is other than a hospital gown. Um, although female European, of course, makes me think we're going to have F for female and E for European inside. Oh, a disastrous debt must be an anagram. 
of that and I would guess it's going to be bed ah uh, yeah so female is actually she and European is E so it is a bed sheet so it really didn't have to be a hospital patient other than well they're usually in bed but it also uh, kept to the theme I don't think I've looked at this one either they are placed inside small oxygen supplying equipment oh well small is probably the s could it be oxygen supplying equipment what would that be called um Oh, iron lungs. Um, oh, maybe um, maybe something is placed inside. S lungs, slungs. I don't know if they are. Is slung a, well, slung is a word, but I don't think it's a noun. Yikes. All right. Now we do have an E here. Cases. I do think there is going to be a game here. No. Yeah, I'm wondering if the medical assistant is going to be an abbreviation. Um, I know RN is the Navy, but I think an RN can be a nurse as well. But I'm wondering, um, I know in the US we have physician's assistants, a PA. So maybe it is a PA. And then something for a consultant on many cases. No, I think it's more likely medical assistant is the definition and the four is the equal sign pointing us to the wordplay that's going to equal it. Now, Issue returning for renowned healer. Oh, time. Ah, time is the great healer. Yes. And it's emit backwards, which is another word for issue. Oh, my goodness. Um, oh, I never looked at this one either. Moved quickly which I think is going to be ran into outfit valuing intelligence, which would be the CIA. And they are full of brains. That's what gave it to me. I thought of uh, well, cranium, but the plural must be crania. All right, just a few left. Now, having the C there should be easy ah yes yeah, so the game is chess it's a bit little misleading to say extra time but i suppose the t is an extra letter inside of chess gives us chests which can be cases and now the oxygen supplying equipment They are placed inside. So is it some term for things that are put in? Oh, um, could it be something for prisoners? They are placed inside and then the S for small and then the whole thing is oxygen supplying equipment. I'm not seeing it. All right. Um, 
medical assistant, many cases. Now, I think I'm going to go ahead and reveal this. I don't want to spend too much time on the crossword today. Watson. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Dr. Watson, of course, is it just a cryptic definition with no wordplay? I think that's... He was a medical assistant for... Sherlock Holmes, who is a consultant on many cases. Oh, that's a, I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, I know there are clues which just have the cryptic definition, but really was hoping to get a little bit more for that one. All right, let's me uh, pause and think about this one. Okay, I resorted to wordplays.com, where you put in the number of letters and which ones you have, and it shows all possible matching words. And I liked, because uh, there are a lot of words that fit this pattern, but I liked stents, because they are placed inside. S for small, and I think you can have a tent that supplies oxygen. So let's go ahead and check this one. It is correct. All right, um, I think I'm going to have to use wordplays.com for this one as well. Um, but let me just pause and I'm going to think about what might come between the E and the T, E-A-T, E-F-T, E-N-T. Yeah, let me think about that in terms of a healer. Ah, uh, yeah, so uh, I thought of double T, and then again I was thinking, well, I really liked it being surrounded by better, and I thought of a bone setter was an old-fashioned, I suppose, uh, doctor uh, in days of old. And so your, in old-fashioned, is ones. Yeah, I like that. So just the kind of medication from doctor. Oh, a power, of course, could be control. And a powder is a form, I suppose, in which medication can be given to you. I like that. All right, let's check all everything. Uh, yeah, sometimes I miss when a letter has disappeared, but it looks like everything is still there. I think I understood everything today. I don't remember referencing 15 squared, but let's go over and see what they have to say about it. All right, today's blog is by Eileen. Uh, puzzle rather more straightforward than usual for this setter. Yeah, I thought I'm not familiar with the different setters yet, but I would say it was pretty straightforward with the medical theme skillfully executed. Oh, Eileen particularly liked Watson. Hmm, that was my least favorite. Uh, but yeah, I had a quick look through. There was nothing, uh, I think, in the explanations that I hadn't spotted. Um, I did notice Jeff Down Under, who we see every day, uh, thought 79 was ambiguous and initially had in vain with an E. I would agree it was a little ambiguous. But I think I just figured out, no, it has to be in vain as a well-known phrase rather than vain with an E. Um, minor quibbles. Again, someone likes the clue for Watson. <laughs> I am definitely in the minority here. All right. Well, uh, I did enjoy that. And uh, I think I made fairly good progress a little more quickly than usual. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.